you seeing your uh, larger role in the offense uh, in the past couple weeks so far? Um, first off, I'm thankful for the opportunity. Like I'm a, I'm a young buck, so it means a lot to, to me knowing that Coach Grant, Coach Grant can trust me enough to put me out there. And the big guys are coaching me up as well, like AJ, Chris, uh, Smoke. With Smoke being out, they put their trust in me, and I just felt like uh, that was a big, that was something big for me. Josh Moore. Did you, Don, I, I know you come here, you know, hoping to play as soon, everybody comes here hoping to play as soon as they can, but to get on the field um, in the SEC, you know, it's tough. I, what's been the toughest part of, of, of that process to, to get ready to where they feel like you're, you're, you're capable of going out there? Um, the toughest part is uh, really you just got to stay in your book. You got to study. Uh, it's not really like high school. It's a big transition. In high school, you could just wing it and basically do anything you wanted. And uh, you could get recruited off of that, and then you, you can be straight. But in college, it's like you got to study. You got to be in the weight room. Uh, you got to make sure your body's straight. Your body is a temple. That's what they just taught me. Uh, and you got to be in the film room. You, you got to study your opponents. You got to know your opponents. That's the first rule that uh, Coach Grant teaches running backs in the running back room. You got to know your opponents and then uh, go out there and execute. If you don't know your opponent, then you're as good as dead. Nick Roush. Can you feel the difference uh, on the field, whether it's the speed of the game, getting hit, just the difference between the SEC and high school ball? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, they were really flying around. Uh, they huge. Not, in high school, you really don't see that many big people. You will see a couple big guys, a couple games. But in the SEC, it's a whole bunch of big guys. And it's a shout out to the O-line, really, the big blue wall, because they make it easier for me to read everything. They're taking care of the big people up front and uh, making it easier for me to make second-level cuts and reading everything with the linebackers and safeties and all that. Is, is there anything to just putting your head down and, and getting a couple of yards? I know that's not something that's – it doesn't look easy, but there's been some guys around here that have been pretty good at, at doing that, and you were able to do that on Saturday. Um, I really don't notice it. I just, I just, I guess that's how I run. Really, I don't really like to get taken down by one man because I know my mentality is not one person is better than me. I'm not gonna let him be better than me. So, I try my best to have a couple guys attempt to take me down, and while doing that, I just get a couple yards. Did you know you were gonna get some play in the third quarter, or uh, what's it kind of like on the sideline before you go in? On the sideline, we just gotta be ready. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh in the game. So me and Travis are on the sideline ready uh, while AJ and Chris was transitioning in and out against Tennessee and Cody, Coach Cody Lasita, he told us just be ready. We're going to have our time and we did. So. John Clay. Your time uh, playing with, with Chris and Cavassier and, and AJ, what, what's the best piece of advice one of those guys has given you? Um, I would say if you screw up, screw up at 100 miles per hour. Basically saying, like, if you mess up, just make sure you give full effort and go fast and have short-term memory. Like, go to the next play and just forget anything ever happened and execute the next play. Josh? Talked about them teaching you to teach your – or treat your body like a temple. Was there anything you had to give up food-wise or anything you kind of – had to part with that you, you you hated to? Um, not really. Knowing me, I'm like 190 right now. So I got high metabolism. I really can eat anything I want, but I'm working on that, working on uh, eating better and trying to put some more weight on so I can be more durable in the SEC. With, with that kind of in mind, what's that, how has that been different? You know, because you, you kind of get shown one thing during your recruitment because, and then you come into, you know, your whole freshman season is affected by this COVID deal. Just how how tough has that been to to not really get the full um, freshman experience at UK? Um, I mean, it's a little challenging. It's a little disappointing, really, because I, I was looking forward to a lot of things this season. But it's still an opportunity, and I'm going to take advantage of that opportunity any chance I get. Derek Terry. Chaton, you and a few of the other freshmen after the game uh, on Saturday tweeted just about how happy you were 
that you made the choice to come to UK. I, I guess uh, just what's the morale like with some of you freshmen now that you know, quite a few of you are starting to get some playing time? Oh, what was the question? The morale, like how, you, how the freshman guys are feeling now. Oh, we loving it. We, we are, like all we, we sleep, eat, and talk football. So we're just hyping this, uh, ourselves up about football and we speak on like how we can get better, how we can better ourselves on the field. And uh, we'll be helping each other with assignments like in school work. So we won't have to worry about academics and we can stay on the field. And uh, we're just really excited. And we know that our class has a, a bright future at UK.